Jaguars are back again and this time they're trying to rebound back from their first loss of the season at home against Kent State. Now they go to Texas State to play in a Sun Belt Conference game. Do the Jaguars have enough to get a victory here today or will they lose two in a row? We'll find out right here today in this video. And as the Jaguars get ready for the kickoff, TJ Glover's back to return from his own end zone. He's taking it out of the end zone, but he only gets to the 14-yard line before he's taken down. And before we jump into the game, let's introduce the lineups. The lineups have not changed. The same lineup from last week, the Jaguars have moved Williams once again to that left tackle spot and have May at the right tackle as Carnathan will be in at defensive end and the Jaguars linebackers and secondary will be staying the same for this game as well with Bryson James at middle linebacker and Pat Moore at outside linebacker. So the Jaguars have it on first and 10, start the drive off on their own 14 yard line. Bridge hands it off, but he should have kept it and Kendall Houston is taken down for the loss. Texas State's fans are getting loud. Can the Jaguars come out and do something with it on second 11? Bridge looks, he finds no one open and he is taken down at the one yard line. Jaguars are in a hole right here on third and 21. Coach Jones has decided to go with the draw play to get out of the end zone. And Kendall Houston cuts it up the field to give them room to punt the ball out. The Jaguars settle for trying to get field position in this drive as the defense comes out. Art holds it. Art is going to keep it. He busts it outside and he is taken down, but not without a first down first. First and 10 for Texas State as Art drops back again. He finds a man right up the sideline and another first down as Preston Lowe was able to bring that ball in. But now it's third and five and the Jaguars are able to get the Texas State Bobcats off the field and they will settle for three points as they get that field goal to go. The Jaguars have it on their second drive as Kendall Houston gets the read option from Bridge and picks up nine yards on the play. And now it's second and one. Bridge hands it off to TJ Glover on the wide receiver sweep and he's able to pick the first down up for the Jaguars. Now it's second and 10, Bridge drops back. He finds Kendall Houston once again, who picks up eight yards on the pass. Third and two, the Jaguars are in a shotgun formation and they hand it off to Kendall Houston, who cannot get anything with it, and they have to punt once again. Texas State has the ball. First and 10, Art drops back. He finds a man wide open, his tight end coming across the field for a huge gain. Bradley Miller picks up 31 on the play, and Art has it again. He keeps it on the option. He has daylight and room to run. He gets some beautiful blocks, and he is going to take it in for the touchdown as the Texas State Bobcats are up 10 to nothing early in this ball game here in the first quarter. Could the Jaguars still be devastated about the loss last week as Bridge finds Jeremy Jones right across the middle. The Jaguars are moving. Brandon Bridge gets it, cuts it up the field, and picks up eight on the play. Bridge in the gun again. Drops back, seeing what he has. He finds nothing and is taken down for the sack. Now it's third and 14. The Jaguars are shooting themselves in the foot. Bridge is looking. Bridge tries to throw it up for Lavender, but it is an incomplete pass and the Jaguars have to punt down 10 to zero. And the Texas State Bobcats who have scored already on their first two drives are out for drive number three as Franks busted it outside for a nice five yard run. Aren't back in the gun once again. He's gonna swing it out to his wide receiver who gets it on the screen and he has room to run before he is taken down on the play. The Jaguars have to wake up here today. They need a big stop as Art is in the gun again. He's gonna hand it off to Franks and Alex Page is right there to bring him down. As the Jaguars may have life now, if they can hold him to a field goal, that would be great right here. As Art is in the gun again, he hands it off to Battle. Battle's gonna make a nice run and he could go all the way for the touchdown. 17 to zero here today. Can the Jaguars come back? These guys have been known as the Cardiac Cats as he hands it off as Kendall Houston gets a nice run on the halfback counter. The Jaguars know they have to score here as Bridge drops back. He finds Brian Lavender coming across the middle and he picks up a huge game for the Jaguars. Bridge is in the gun again. He's looking. He finds a man right across the middle and it's TJ Glover. With only a minute and change left in the half, 
Bridge hands it all to Kendall Houston who punches it in for the touchdown. The four yard run for Kendall Houston gives the Jaguars their first points of the day. That was huge because the Texas State Bobcats get the ball to start the second half. As it is first and 10, Art looks for a man, but he is out of bounds. And the Jaguars get a break right there on first down. Now it's second and 10, Art's looking. And it's almost intercepted by Charles Watson. That could have been a pick six if he'd have brought that home. But now Art's in the gun, dropping back again. He's throwing one up. Brigham's right there, and Brigham drops the pick. But it is fourth down, and the Jaguars will get the ball back with just a few seconds left in the half as Bridge cuts it up the field, gets the first down for the Jaguars. With only a minute and change left, Bridge in the gun again. He's going to scramble. He sees a man. He finds Jeremy Jones across the middle. And now the Jaguars are in field goal range with under a minute left. What can the Jaguars do? Bridge in the gun again on first and ten. He's seeing what he has. He finds a man. It's going to be Bryant Lavender. And he's taken down at the two-yard line. The Jaguars have it on first and goal. Bridge has a chance to give the Jaguars another score right here before the half as he finds Kendall Houston who scores the second touchdown as well as the first touchdown of the day. Kendall Houston gives the Jaguars what they needed, and now the Jaguars are right back in it. As the second half starts off, Texas State throws another pass that is out of bounds. Third and 11 for the Texas State Bobcats. Art drops back in the gun. He finds a man, but he overthrows him, and the Jaguar defense gets off the field with a chance to not only get off the field, but these guys could come back down the field and score and take the lead after being down 17 to nothing. As you see, Bridge gets a nice gain on that play. Bridge in the gun again. He finds Corey Bastida, who puts the nasty juke on his man and gets another first down for the Jaguars. And you know we couldn't have a video without Southpaw. But now it is third and two for the Jaguars as Bridge audibles out of that play. Picks another play, and Bridge finds a man wide open. It is going to be Rush Hendricks right up the sideline. He is taken down inside of the five. The Jaguars have a chance to take this lead right here as Bridge drops back. He finds Jeremy Jones for a touchdown, and the Jaguars take their first lead of the day here in the second half. Now it's second and inches for the Bobcats as Arndt drops back. He finds a man, and his man drops the pass. Could the Bobcats be choking under pressure? Or are the Jaguars for real? As Franks gets the option from Art who picks up the first down on the play. Art back in the gun again. Hands it off to Franks. Delivers a huge stiff arm. Cuts it up the field. And he gets a nice gain on the play. Texas State are marching down the field. As he hands it off to Franks again. But he is taken down in the backfield. The Jaguars really want to keep this lead here today. As it is third and four now. As Art is making an adjustment. He's dropping back. He throws it, but it is out of bounds again. He cannot complete a pass here in the second half, and they have to settle for a long field goal attempt. The kick is up, and the ball is off the upright and in as the Texas State Bobcats cut the lead down to one. Will the Jaguars be able to hold them off here today? As you see the kick off the upright and in, the Jaguars really need to score right here to keep the pressure on the Bobcats. And on third and eight, Bridge is going to find West Saxton right across the middle for a first down. And some time is going to tick off that clock. Bridge has it on first and ten now. And he's dropping back. Seeing what he has. He finds Jeremy Jones once again for another Jaguar first down. And now it's first and ten from the 29. Bridge is going to keep it. And he is going to get a lot of yards right here on the play. As he is taken down at the 12-yard line. The Jaguars are marching. As Bridge drops back in the gun again, he's scrambling. Touchdown, Jaguars, and he's getting in the end zone for the six. Can you believe these Cardiac Cats have bounced back after trailing 17 to nothing early in this ball game? As Art drops back again, he finds a man wide open on the slant route, and they have another first down. Can the Jaguar defense stop them from scoring a touchdown right here? As Enrique Williams delivers a huge earth-shattering hit right across the middle but now it's second and three and Franks is gonna make the run and he is gonna bounce it outside and he's gonna pick up a huge game before he's knocked out of bounds and the Jaguars all they have to do is just keep him out of the end zone can they do that as Art delivers a ball to Smith who actually gets in the end zone after that hit and the Jaguars all they have to do now 
is make sure they don't get the two point conversion. But Arton's in the gun and he drops back. And he has a man wide open on the slant route. And we have a tie ball game here late in the fourth quarter. As TJ Glover's running it out of the end zone. He's cutting up the field. He's got a big gain. And he is taken down just short of the 50 yard line. And the Jaguars are back in the gun again. Bridge drops back. He throws it. It is incomplete to TJ Glover. But wait a minute, it is under review. See if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. What a controversial call right there. The Jaguars still have possession of it as Bridge drops and hands it off to Glover. Glover, who just made that amazing catch, gets a nice first down on the run. The offensive weapon is all over the field today. And Bridge in the gun again. He's going to hand it off to TJ Glover up the middle. Glover picks up a nice six yards for the Jaguars. And they are set up nicely for the freshman kicker, Brandon McKee. As Bridge runs it to set it up in the middle of the field. Brendan McKee has made two game-winning field goals already this year. So can he make a third one for the Cardiac Cats? He gets it up. And he got it. Game over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. The Jaguars win and get out of here with a victory. Still undefeated in Sunbelt play. Y'all be good. I will have another video out real soon.